question is uh, the total cost function and the market demand function of a competitive firm are that is c is equal to 1 by 3x cube minus 10x square plus 9x plus 1000 this is the total cost function where c is the cost and x is the quantity and uh, the demand mar market demand function is given up by that is x is equal to 12 minus p divided by 9 where p is the price uh, the level of output at which profit is profits are maximized sorry or um, the options are 1 2 here it is 3 and 4 okay so we will see what is the correct option so we are given the total cost function that is c is equal to 1 by 3 x cube minus 10 x square plus 9 x plus 1000 okay and we know uh, the uh, profit maximization condition is that is so i will write here uh, profit maximization condition is there marginal revenue should be equal to marginal cost this is our uh, total cost uh, so first we will uh, calculate the marginal cost so marginal cost is simply the derivative of total cost function with respect to quantity that is x is the quantity here so differentiating this cost function with respect to x so here this 3 will become coefficient so this will become uh, 1 by 3 times 3 x uh, 3 minus 1 that is equal to 2 by the power function rule minus simply this 2 will become the coefficient that is 10 times 2 x 2 minus 1 is 1 uh, plus the derivative of x is 1 so we get here 9 so this is our marginal cost function that is 3 and 3 will get cancelled we are left with x square minus 10 to the 20 x plus 9 this is the marginal cost okay now our demand function is given also our demand function is so i will write demand function that is given by x is equal to 12 minus p divided by 9 and we will solve this for p okay so this will become 9 into x is equal to 9 x is equal to 12 minus p which implies uh, p is equal to 12 minus 9 x so this is our inverse demand function now total revenue as we know is equal to price times quantity so we mul multiply this inverse demand function with x that is the quantity this will become our price function is 12 minus 9 x and we multiply it by quantity because price into quantity gives us total revenue this becomes 12 x minus 9 x square this is our total revenue okay now total revenue is given we can calculate marginal revenue marginal revenue is derivative of total revenue function with respect to x that is dx so we differentiate this total revenue function with respect to x the derivative of x is 1 that's 12 into 1 is 12 minus this 2 will become coefficient so this will become 9 9 2s are 18 and 2 minus 1 is 1 that is 18x this is our marginal revenue so profit maximization occurs where marginal revenue is equal to marginal cost our marginal revenue is this that is 12 minus 18x should be equal to our marginal cost function is somewhere here it is that is x square minus 20x plus 9 so we just uh, equated marginal revenue with marginal cost now solving for x again so this will become uh, x square we will transpose this 18x here this will become plus 18 so this is uh, this will become so i will write here minus 20x plus 18x we have plus 9 and minus 12 which is equal to 0 or we can write x square uh, minus 20 plus 18 is equal to minus 2x similarly uh, plus 9 um, minus 12 is equal to minus 3 which is equal to 0 so we are with this quadratic equation now we can factor this out like this so here we will we should get the 
sum of two numbers should be equal to minus two and the product of the two numbers should be equal to uh, coefficient of x times constant term that is minus three so uh, the numbers that satisfy this relation is uh, three minus three plus one minus 3 and 1 so minus 3 uh, plus 1 is equal to minus 3 minus 3 into 1 is equal to minus 3 so we can write here x square in plus of minus 2x i can write minus 3x uh, plus x uh, and we have minus 3 is equal to 0 now factoring this out so i will write here this is factoring x here and factoring and last two terms so here we can factor out x we will get x minus 3 and in this equation uh, in this in these two terms we will factor out 1 and we are left with x minus 3 and it should be equal to 0 okay so this is the equation we will try to solve so x minus 3 x minus 3 so i will write here in this box i will try to write so we are x minus 3 when factoring out we are left with x plus 1 that is uh, x plus 1 and it should be equal to 0 that implies x minus 3 is equal to 0 and x plus 1 is equal to zero. is equal to 0 which uh, means which implies x is equal to 3 or x is equal to minus 1 so x is equal to minus 1 that is quantity cannot be negative so we are left with this x is equal to 3 x is equal to 3 that means the correct option in this question would be we got the value of x is equal to 3 that implies uh, this uh, the level of output at which practice are maximized or that is when we produce three units the practice are maximized